Hey everyone, so um, I'm going to be doing my 33 week pregnancy update. Um, I know that you guys have been watching my 32 week update with what was going on with the baby's kidneys and everything and I've had such great responses and you know I've been receiving emails from people who they just got told the same thing and they're at 20 weeks along and you know normally it is a lot of the time nothing but this is one in like I believe it's like one in 400 or one in 500 on little girls so I mean hers was very rare it wasn't you know but right now I've just been keeping busy um I haven't gained any weight actually I just had another doctor's appointment which this is my rant this is just letting you know right now I went into the doctors <laughs> after I've seen the specialist and they were supposed to receive my file and they were supposed to talk about what you know what's going to happen at delivery go over my delivery plan and all of that because um, I'm just going to do an epidural but um, I haven't had to have a c-section with my daughter or anything like that and uh, the specialist was telling me that if the fluid does get low at 37 weeks you will deliver okay 33 weeks that's Oh, hold on, whoa, my camera unfocused. Uh, 33 weeks, that's in four weeks. That's at the end of May that there's the earliest that she could be born. They're they've already told me the doctor's preference is he doesn't like to deliver people at 40 weeks if it's their second child. So we already have an induction date picked. You know, um, my husband's birthday is the sixth. Our wedding anniversary is the ninth. And so we were like, well, they gave us like a branch in between that little area, so we were like, well, let's pick the seventh and maybe I'll have her on the eighth, you know, just have them back to back to back and we'll just go on a cruise every year just to celebrate everyone's birthdays and anniversaries. Right? Right. So, um, I go into the doctor's office. Um, I forgot I didn't have a babysitter, so I'm bringing Lila with me and we're sitting there waiting so patiently and of course, of course, this always happens to me. The doctor comes in, checks everything out. He's like, you haven't gained any weight. I'm like, yeah, good, because I'm huge right now. If you've seen my photos, I'm huge. I mean, my arms, oh, I'm so sorry at 32 weeks. I was so swollen. You could tell my face and my arms, and it was so bad. See, I really am not fat, I promise. I just was really swollen that day. And so, um... It was just like he was talking to me and he was like doing my measurements and um, he's like baby's really low you know it could happen you know he's like at 34 weeks it's a 50 50 chance you know lungs being developed he's like your baby is really really low I have a feeling your water is gonna pop soon I'm like great well that's awesome just told 37 weeks let's make it that far because I really I have a lot of stuff going on and I would like her to stay in me a little bit longer so um, and then he's like I'll see you back in two weeks. This is their, the OBGYN specialist, not the fetal natal who I was already seeing prior. I'm like, do you want to talk about, I don't, I don't know. Do you want to talk about the pregnancy? What the specialist said? What's going to happen? I've already gotten a new pediatrician. What do you want me to do? And so I was like trying to stay really calm and not have any curse words fly out of my mouth because my daughter's sitting right next to me. But I was, I seriously felt like he had moron tattooed on his forehead. And I knew he felt the same way that I was looking at him. Like he was really embarrassed. And it's because there's a corporation around here and it's called Intermountain and I will put them on blast. They have bought the hospitals they're not regular hospitals anymore they ran by Intermountain they bought physicians offices pediatricians general um, doctors I'm talking everyone they bought everyone out it is seriously like Grey's Anatomy with Peg Pegasus and they are so booked that they're just like back to back to back to back to back that he really didn't have time to even know who I was when he came in and so I was just baffled so on that note, I called the fetal natal and I'm waiting for a response from my insurance company and from her and to just see what's gonna happen if, um, I'll know probably by May 17th, if she can just deliver me because I really don't, do you see my cat? Get down. Did you see that? She just jumped on my headboard. 
Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm waiting for a response to find out if she can just deliver the baby because I really don't feel confident with this doctor and I have to make sure my insurance company will let me switch this late in the game and I already have a referral to see her and I feel comfortable with her. And she's the one who's like, this is what's gonna happen, this is what we're gonna do, this is each week, blah, 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 we're gonna check, you know, your fluid every week to make sure everything's going fine. So, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. It's, it was one of those toss-up situations. So it was very awkward and I just, I don't even know what to think about it. I was very upset, <laughs> but I'm a lot more calmed down now and stuff. But it was just, it was one of those moments. Uh, but for pregnancy symptoms, since I've been rambling about a doctor's appointment, um, I have definitely hit the nesting phase. I have seriously turned into a psychopath. I'm talking, I've cleaned the face, or the baseboards of my house. Um, tonight I am scrubbing my floor on my hands and knees because it's tile and I want it to look really clean and shiny. I clean my fridge out. I have rearranged my makeup, and you'll see that in another video that's coming up for Makeup Mayhem. I redid all my makeup organization in my bathroom. I redid my vanity in the bathroom. I scrubbed the jacuzzi tub. I'm talking, I've gone completely crazy, and I haven't even hit like a third of the house, or even a quarter of the house. Like the house, if you live in an apartment, which I did, I lived in an apartment for four years, four years at a university. Okay, I cleaned that whole place in one day, flat. When you buy a house and the house is bigger than any apartment you've had, you're like, you like feel like, oh, I cleaned the front room and the kitchen. Oh, crap, I have to clean the entryway and the spare bathrooms and the upstairs and the cat box and the bedroom and the other bathroom and your and the playroom. I mean, it's a kid's playroom. It's gonna be a disaster all the time. So, I mean, it's just like, ah! So this whole nesting thing, I'm hoping four weeks is long enough for me to get everything all situated. But uh, that was just kind of, you know, a little bit of an update that's going on with me. I haven't gained any weight and I have been nesting like crazy. I'm swollen. Oh my God, look at my little piggy fingers. Look, look how swollen they are. This happened with my daughter too, okay? Is this, this. But I promise I will film a video while I'm in the hospital and I will show you guys. Literally after my water breaks, my fingers will go back to normal fingers and not little sausages. So I promise, I promise it will go away. And same with your ankles or your feet. Me, I've been like really swollen from like here to here. It is bad, it is bad. But I thought I would do a belly shot because I'm so late in the game. I haven't been doing a belly shot prior. I didn't feel like it was really necessary. You could tell like there was barely a bump there and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, she has a huge bump. So I'm gonna show you guys my belly bump and you guys can tell me what you guys think. All right, so don't judge. Trying to think if I can see. All right. So this is the belly bump. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I'm actually going to move the camera down so we can actually see it. All right, guys. I promise. Yeah. Okay. That's much better. All right. So this is my belly bump. I have no stretch marks, but I had stretch marks with my daughter the first time, and my tattoos are all still intact. Yep, they're still there, and that's just what it looks like. Um, I don't get that line. I didn't get it with my daughter either. I don't get the line. And my belly button is a half inny, half outy. It's really weird. It's like flat, but it's not an outy. So that's just what it looks like. So very simple, very just that's what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And sorry for moving the camera around so much. It probably made you guys really dizzy. So just make sure to keep up with my vlogs and, you know, leave me the comments, everything like that. And I will be updating you with 34 weeks. All right. Bye.